Windows 11 was leaked and now we are not very much sure about the sources whether it is a very legit version coming leaked directly by someone working at Microsoft or if the ISO is modified and we don't know whether that uh, it might even cause hardware problems in your system so you would not like to switch to some unstable alpha state software permanently in your working PC and if you don't have any alternative then this is probably the only method by which you can access Windows 11 without installing on your PC. Watch till the end to know more. So there was a demand for the installation steps of Windows 11 since that operating system is often making problems for installation during the process of installation so i've come up with a video just to help you guys so we are going to use some tools like rufus so let me just start this application Let me change the power option to okay set as balance L now we need to select a device uh, so take a pen drive which is uh, which you won't be using for uh, which which you are not using already for uh, anything which is just lying around free so you just need to take a free pen drive and then select the ISO that you have downloaded. I've provided the download link uh, link in the description. You just check it out from there. So I have the file located here. This is the file. So just select the file. Now select the partition scheme. That is GPT or MBR. Now if you're using UEFI uh, system, then you need to select GPT. And if it is BIOS, then you need to select MBR. So since mine is BIOS, I'm going to install it on an old laptop. It ha most of the old laptops have BIOS. So I'm going to select BIOS here. Now for the next step, you just need to verify everything that it is okay or not and click on start. Click on okay. And then the process will continue flashing. Now if you're not ready to install Windows 11 on a physical hard drive or on an SSD that you are using on your computer, then you can install using Windows 2 Go. For this option, you need to select as I have selected from there Windows 2 Go instead of the standard installation procedure and then rest of the things remain the same. For example, if you have BIOS, then you need to click MBR and if you are using UEFI, then you need to click GPT partition. You will be uh, given this list to choose from so from windows 11 home to windows 11 pro so choose any version that you are going to you want to install and try out and then it should continue the process will take a lot of time so you need to be patient Now after this the process will continue on its own and you need not install windows separately again on the pen drive or the hard drive. Now you can directly boot into windows from pen drive. When you boot into win windows it will show the general startup screen and then you will be gre greeted by this one. So please don't mind about the video quality since I could not screen record this portion of the video since I did not have any screen recording software running. Run through the steps as I have shown. Connect to the internet because connecting is mandatory as it seems. It will check for updates. If they are there, they will get installed. I don't think there will be any update because uh, this is just a leak from Microsoft. Set up your account. And you will be ready to go. Create a pin 
for logging into your system when your system is offline now this new feature is there in windows 11 where you can restore settings from your previous uh, system where you had installed windows 11 like uh, for example mm, uh, here the desktop lbrv f77 is the option but i want to set it as a new device so select that option and continue now, after everything is done you need to enable or disable as required these options for privacy i'm keeping them all enabled Now continue with uh, saving the files in the uh, computer itself or saving it on OneDrive that is the cloud storage of Microsoft. Now they will take just a moment and you will be greeted by the hi. Then things will get ready and then after a few minutes you will be greeted by this desktop. Now I have already made a video where I have showed all the features of Windows 11 but uh, here I am just going to use the system in front of you just to sh uh, show the amount of performance that I am get getting from a uh, USB. It is generally low and very bad and often very slow with Windows 10 but I am surprised by the performance provided by Windows 11 itself. As you can see this is the USB drive that I am using as a C drive that is the main computer drive from which it is booting and running all the applications. So I think there are some performance tweakings in Windows 11 that is allowing it to run so smoothly even from a pen drive. Here I have another SSD that is there and another partition required for booting probably. Just a reminder that whatever you are going to see is everything running is running from a USB pen drive on a 10 year old laptop which is powered by an intel second generation i3 processor so remembering that you are going to see all the performance that you are getting over uh, on windows 11. So i think personally that there has been a lot of improvement in windows 11 in uh, regard to performance since i don't think uh, windows 10 had performed this greatly on uh, pen drive Still no match to Linux since it is uh, way more faster than Windows 11 that I find and I am running a highly tuned version of Linux that is the clear Linux for Intel. So definitely it is the fastest. A peculiar thing that I had noticed was that uh, the AMD Radeon settings, if I open, there it is showing in the system information that this PC is running Windows 10. That was uh, very peculiar to me since it is running Windows 11. Now the software is not opening due to some reason, I will try opening it again, but uh, it was uh, showing that it is running Windows 10 instead of Windows 11. Now if you go to the performance tab, you can see the amount of memory it is consuming and the CPU usage and uh, this is the USB drive that is being used for the uh, C drive or the main drive purpose. So that is it. Now uh, that did not open so let me try again. So there is some problem with this but it was uh, showing I tried again uh, before also it was showing that uh, this PC is running Windows 10 
सो दैट इज इट फॉर टुडे थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग